Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm out here, middle of the week. Um, tough time of the year to catch fish, but uh, I'm throwing my chug bug again. If you watch my videos at all, you know I've been throwing the chug bug for pretty much the whole summer. Uh, but today's video is going to show you why I throw the chug bug. Stay tuned. Missed him. There, got him. Oh, he came off. Wasn't a big one anyway. I think that might have been a bluegill. Oh, boy, there's another one right on the bank. Hopefully there'll be a bigger fish here soon. That's not a bad fish. Well, a lot better than I thought. That's a pound and a halfer. Nice for a first fish. I'll take it. So I'm fishing the, I don't normally fish top waters here. I have fished this area before, but not, not with top waters. And I just had a feeling there might be a fish or two. I've had some comments on some of my videos, is that all you ever do is fish top waters? And fish a chug bug? And my answer to that is, don't fix it if it's not broken. I mean, right now, that's the only way I can catch a fish. So, and I've talked to a lot of other anglers out here uh, who aren't catching much. And they're not throwing a chug bug. So, the whole goal is to catch fish, and that's what I'm doing. As the water starts to cool down, I'll be throwing, you know, using other lures. Right now, this lure is working, plus it's fun. The last couple of trips I've had to slow it down to catch fish. Came off. Came off. Jeez, I haven't even engaged my reel. Ooh, that's a good fish too. As soon as it hit the water, he crushed it. Oh boy. That fish came out of the water after it. Well, that's 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 at least two pounds there. That's a that's a nice fish. <laughs> as soon as it hit the water, he came out of the water, hit it on the way back down. Beautiful fish. This is why I throw a chug bug right there. <laughs> now that fish was a little more aggressive. 
I had to set the hook with my thumb on the spool because I hadn't, and you know, I hadn't engaged my, oh, there's another one, engaged my reel yet. Ooh, I think, I believe it's another piece of fish. And it is. That's another, this approaching two pounds. That's a good fish. <laughs> oh man, they're just destroying that topwater lure. Just destroying it. There's another one. Holy smokes, did he crush it? I think I might have found the honey hole here. Let's see if I can boat flip this one. Oh. It's another good one too. That's a good fish. Not quite as big as the first one, but. That's a chunk. That's at least, oh, it's a pound and a half at least. Big fish. <laughs> Man, unbelievable. Three, three good ones in a row. I didn't get it in there where I wanted it. basically making the same cast. Throwing it to the exact same spot. Oh no. Unbelievable. I'm all tied in knots. That's, that's embarrassing. But hey, it happens to all of us, doesn't it? All right. Oh, you missed it. Did you see that? That was another good fish. I've got overhanging branches here that I gotta try to cast under. That's why I end up in the trees once in a while. That 
last fish hit me about halfway to the boat. This isn't even the area I really wanted to fish today. I'm glad I did though. Casting accuracy makes a difference. Uh, you got to get it in there right close to the bank where in this bank here has all the ingredients I look for for topwater fishing. Right against the bank it drops straight down probably six or seven feet. And if you get it in there close, I think these bass are cruising up there pushing bait up against the you know the the shoreline. Man, there's a lot of fish underneath us. They're underneath me. When it's dead calm like this, I like my lure to hit the water as lightly as possible, if that makes any sense. Interesting, all those fish were in the same area. Now my question is, do I go back, leave it alone for a second, and go back and throw in there again? Or do I move to the area that I know there's more fish? Yeah. A couple episodes ago, I fished this area and did pretty well, and I fished it a little bit later than I would like. The sun's getting ready to come up. So I'm here earlier today, which will make a difference. But just so you know, it is 15 after seven, and I've, I've, already, I've already done pretty well. This area here is a little surprising. It's very shallow. Now today could be completely different, but I don't think so. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing and stop throwing it into the trees. But you gotta get it in there, and with these overhanging limbs, you're gonna hit a tree once in a while. Last time I fished this, I, it looks like the kind of area you'd catch a lot. Oh, I missed him. That was a good fish, too. I need to stop talking and keep fishing. Looks like the kind of area you'd catch large now. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I did pretty well early today. Uh, the wind has come up this afternoon here and uh, fishing just shut down. So uh, you gotta get out early. But thanks for tuning in. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Come back and fish with me again next time.